discussing um, SL21B, uh, our 21st birthday event. It's coming up on the 23rd of June. Um, our, our anniversary is, but uh, to celebrate, we'll be hosting our anniversary celebration starting on the 21st of June and going through the 21st of July. So a whole month this time of, of birthday times. And this year's theme is elements. And I'm going to read uh, read what we've said on the, on the theme. Just, I really love this. Uh, the theme invites us to explore the fundamental components that make up our vast virtual landscape and the diverse communities within it. From the fiery passion of creators and artists to the fluid adaptability of our social environments, from the solid bonds within our communities to the fresh breezes of innovation that propel us forward. Elements is a celebration of the core forces that shape our experience in Second Life. Really, really hope to see some great stuff on that. And if you want to be an exhibitor at our community celebration, uh, applications for that are now open at that slurl. And um, those are open until the 12th of May. Additionally, if you want to volunteer at the event, we'd love to have you. Uh, there's an application for that as well at that URL. And um, that also closes on the 12th of May. Um, finally, of course, keep an eye out uh, on the featured news blog uh, for more information on the event, uh, performer and merchant applications. And of course, as we get closer, more information on what's available to shop and hop and so forth. And that's the featured news blog for those that don't happen to have it handy. So I hope that everyone gets a chance to to come out to it and enjoy it and see what's going to be going on there because I think it's going to be a great birthday event. Just filling in a little chatter while I... Uh, um the next uh, topic uh, pans up, but like I said before, I've seen a little bit of this already, and it is awe-inspiring to me. Spoilers. Let's quit. Yeah. Nope, no, no spoilers. Thing. Yeah. Won't share anything, but I, I agree, Izzy. I, I absolutely agree. I'm excited by it. Yes, soon, but it really is going to be soon, and, and you'll see. It's it's cool. So we can move into the next topics, if no one else has any uh, questions out about SLB, which I'm surprised. So we put out a LabGab episode last week. Uh, with a ton of new updates, and you can watch that episode here. So the first up to bat was mobile. Uh, work is continuing on both the Android and the iOS versions of the Second Life Viewer, uh, spurred on by feedback from our Premium Plus beta testers. Thank you very much for everyone participating. Among the recent additions to the viewers are improvements to avatar rendering, allowing you to look more, well, like yourself, <laughs> avatar rendering is uh, definitely shaping up to be uh, something very nice. Uh, also, teleport improvements, chat improvements, and parcel streaming audio, all of which can help you be more in the moment on the mobile viewer, which we all want. You can also see some of the latest additions in this mobile-specific viewer or video. So it's still Premium Plus, um, but we are uh, aware that many of our Premium residents want to be a part of it, and we definitely do hear you. Uh, we look forward to everyone getting a chance to experience the uh, mobile application very soon. Vix, can I add one thing on there? Sure. 
Also just want to stress that right now it's premium plus because of the manual nature of how um, the applications have to get processed because we're still going through the test platform, which is explained in that lab gab a bit further. Um, but as soon as we can get things uh, into a more automated place when we're actually in the app store and such, uh, I'm sure we'll be opening it up. It's just it's a lot of work to actually go through the manual process to get people added. You mean all those tickets sitting in our queue is not an issue? <laughs> 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 yeah, absolutely right, Izzy. So also we have some additional enhancement to the GLTF PBR materials in Second Life including the addition of one-of-a-kind mirrors, as well as PBR on terrain for state regions and the ability to upload 2K textures. Those are going to be some awesome additions. And if you want to watch some of these enhancements, Yeah, Re Wendy, the PBR terrain, when you do a side by side with the PBR terrain versus how terrain has uh, originally looked, it's it's night and day. And then you start to wonder, how come we didn't make this change sooner? <laughs> Kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the molten lava uh, terrain in the 2K PBR? Yeah. So right now, all of these hammonds are on DT only, and we give you all the information that you need to download the viewer and where to go to explore the updates here. Now, for those who don't have uh, access to the beta grid, um, you can reach out to support, and we outlined the steps on how to put the request here. Pretty simple process, just say that you would like uh, access to a DTM, we usually respond within 24 hours. And a few hours after that, uh, our developers go ahead and sync up your credentials and your current inventory to the beta grid. And you can log in and uh, go to the region specified in the release notes for the viewer, give it a test. Not that I'm aware. Um, we have a uh, process to do it manually. I'm not sure that syncing is happening every time you change a password. I could follow up with you, Pantera, see if that's a, a feature that we're aware of. I don't think that's happening, though. And before we move to the left topic, I got one more bullet point here. Uh, we would also like to recommend checking out the episode of LabGab um, that we shared above uh, for something more than just technical updates as Kira Linden delves into some of the policy updates that we have announced uh, with the goals of increasing safety in Second Life. So definitely check out all of those details and um, you can always reach out to us if you had any additional questions. Yeah, yeah, I think that just just dropped uh, earlier today, but uh, yeah, the two Ks are not working yet. Um, that's intentional because not everyone is on a viewer that will support them. Don't want to, you know, break crash people, etc. So, but very soon for that to uh, be fully available. And uh, Sand, I saw you mentioned uh, WebRTC. I wanted to touch on that. I think it was Sand who said that. Apologies if not. Um, we do have the move to WebRTC voice uh, in the pipeline. Uh, that will replace our current VVox voice system. And it will provide us with uh, 
frankly, a more secure voice system, uh, greater features, and perhaps more important, uh, better audio quality than what we have now. Um, and also like the GLTF PBR enhancements, you can try them out now on the beta grid. We have a, a yeah, exactly, Carla. We do have an early public access viewer uh, for the WebRTC uh, that can be downloaded at that. And um, then you'll go to either WebRTC1 or WebRTC2 regions on the beta grid. So again, uh, get your beta access. And you can be read a bit more about WebRTC voice um, at this blog post. Uh, at current uh, send, but like I said, coming extremely soon, um, we are rolling out. We did roll out uh, to the Blue Steel channel today um, with it, and it should be, uh, you know, if all goes well, it should be uh, rolling to the main channel pretty soon, as soon as next week. And I'd also few, add that, uh, go, ahead, go ahead, Vix. I was, I was just going to say, say uh, oh, <laughs> I think a few people had crashed. Um, that might have been in the, one of our four regions here. Mm. Maybe we should pause for a minute, give people a chance to uh, teleport in. I think we lost that Izzy there for fair. a second. Yeah, we did. I do not know, Pantera. Can you see us now, Izzy? Yep. Well, you know, every once in a while, Second Life just has to go, you're nobody special. See, I can still <laughs> beat you. Hey, Send, uh, regarding you'd like to know more information on how it's going to be secure, uh, we don't have all of the details readily available, uh, but as soon as it becomes uh, uh, public facing, we'll definitely be sharing it with you. But I'm sure this will be a topic that we bring up uh, on occasion as it yeah, continues absolutely. to roll out.
But new code is your friend. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that's one of the reasons we've been doing, trying to do as much as we can, Hetty, to uh, uh, make sure to promote um, the testing and make it so that people can get to it relatively easy because that's how everyone gets their feedback and make sure that it works for everyone. I see a number of residents getting in there, Sand. Especially with the introduction of uh, mirrors and 2K textures. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is, really. I was happy enough with reflections, but mirrors? <laughs> Let's go. So we just mentioned uh, feedback, and that brings up another topic, um, one that we bring up on occasion here. Um, but I'll go ahead and let you guys know that we just released a new viewer version here. So it contains all the usual expected uh, bug fixes and enhancements. Um, but we also wanted to mention that um, with our introduction of feedback.secondlife.com, we've seen, uh, well, it seems like to me, an uptick in uh, resident reporting issues, which is very nice. It might be due to the uh, lower learning curve when it comes to uh, feedback.secondlife versus JIRA. But uh, thank you very much for everyone who's been submitting issues um, and also using the uh, new embedded features like uh, marking issues uh, that are popular or trending because those are definitely seen Yes, a um, lot of new issues, a lot of issues that are routed back to support, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for everybody for uh, submitting those because they are definitely tracked, reviewed, and uh, what can be implemented or in action on. So definitely keep it up. And here's a link if for anyone who hasn't uh, sent in any bird reporting lately. And once you submit a uh, report, you're given a page that you can share. It's pretty much the uh, title of the, uh, the bug report that you put in. Um, that part really hasn't changed. Uh, we will sometimes ask right there uh, questions regarding uh, issues you know, for more information. Um, but as far as once it's been accepted uh, or, you know, put into a triage queue with us uh, for actioning or review, um, we don't have all of them out there. Uh, I do know that uh, development team does have a list of issues that they will put out there showing some progress, but not everything is put on that list. So uh, a lot of, you know, stuff is still kind of testing and back and forth and um, sometimes, you know, we still stick to the, we don't want to give an ATA just in case it gets pushed back because of something else. Well, thank you very much, Send. I'll pass it along.
It's a good feeling, isn't it, Dark Over? I want to to bring up also uh, one of one of my favorite topics around here is uh, Lyndon Holmes, and as always, uh, we've been rolling out uh, additional Lyndon Holmes, uh, increasing number available twenty forty eight Mediterraneans and Ranch, uh, because both those have been extremely popular, as well as a large number of the ten twenty four Stilt Holmes. We've recently added uh, a large number of uh, additional regions of those. Uh, over water, especially, uh, which have been hugely popular. Uh, if you're looking for a Linden home of your own, you don't have one uh, and you want one, want a better one, want a different one, uh, please feel free to check out the Linden Home Selector, uh, which is at this address here. Um, or uh, if you're, you know, Premium Plus member, you also can uh, put in a support ticket for a specific Linden home. Uh, the ticket category on that is. Uh, land and region, uh, Linden Homes. Uh, also, you can preview all of the Belisario Linden Home styles in the Belly, Belly Demo region. That's B-E-L-L-I-D-E-M-O region. Uh, please feel free to check it out and enjoy. Yeah. And yeah, I see the the stilts over home and uh, over water. I'm so glad we were able to get more of those out because those have been very popular. And and as soon as we put them out, uh, people people really jumped at them. So we've been still adding more. I have Izzy. Do I count? Yeah, the Belisario Fairgrounds right now has been expanded into a into an anniversary for their fifth. Um, a lot of things to see and do there. They're having a lot of events this month. And yeah, that is correct. Um, it will be. It will also need a, a viewer update. So it's still coming. There is a dim, uh, a beta viewer uh, one you can use some of that with, but you'll have to wait for the update, unfortunately. All right, moving along to the next topic, and that is going to be the increased land impact. I'm sure everyone is aware. So this was another re re uh, welcome change that we rolled out uh, to give some relief to some of the uh, prim weight uh, to the tune of 15% off the download weight. 
So while you will not see an increase in the amount of land impact on the parcel, those numbers will stay the same. The items on the parcel will end up costing less to display, effectively increasing the amount of mesh objects you might be able to put out. So we put up a fact regarding the land impact change here. Definitely give that a read. Never enough dark over. This now, that reminds was, me uh, back when we first oh, had went to megabyte hard drives, and I'm like, I'll never fill this. <laughs> yeah, this change was uh, inspired in what we felt was uh, needed for the addition of uh, reflection probes uh, due to the release of PBR. So while you might have to put out a few more items to take full advantage of the new enhancements, uh, this was also one of the uh, efforts to kind of help you with that. Any questions so far on anything we covered? Any new land or region issues? How's everyone's uh, month been so far? Taxes and file. I don't think I've ever seen those two words together. Olivia, do you have a link to that? Oh, thank you. So I also wanted to take a moment to highlight uh, the Welcome Hub and the uh, Second Life Community Exhibition. I hope you guys have all taken a chance to go out and take a look at it. Uh, the first phase put out over a dozen uh, exhibits from communities all around Second Life. And the second phase will be coming out in just over a week or so, uh, bringing up another, I believe, just shy of 20 uh, um, new uh, exhibits uh, that are just raising the bar uh, and we're going to be building out one more phase uh, to put in even more and bigger uh, exhibits to highlight the diversity of the community, not just for existing residents, but being attached to the Welcome Hub will show a lot of or a cross-section of what Second Life has to offer uh, for our new users that come into the Welcome Hub. So please, 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 when you can, go and take a look. There are also signs at the beginning of the exhibit uh, where you can submit an application if you want to have your area um, 
uh, considered for uh, an exhibit. Once all the exhibits are filled, we're going to start a rotation. So every period of, pe of time still to be determined, we'll start rotating out older ones and bringing in newer ones. Uh, and we're going to have a gift spire where all exhibitors, both new and old ones that have phased out, uh, will be able to have those gifts on the gift spire. So even if you're uh, exhibit isn't currently in the SLCE, uh, people can still go and get your gift and get your note card for your location um, and stuff. So that way you're still always a part of the exhibit, even when you're not present uh, at that point in time. Uh, and some of the interactivity of some of the new exhibits are really, really raising the bar. So I'm really excited to see um, how everybody deals with that. Um, I won't mention who they are, although I desperately want to, but check it out right now. Uh, we welcome. You can do it. You can no, do no, it. no, no, I can't. Uh, yeah, I, we welcome it. people to actually <laughs> also sp uh, stay or have people stay at their exhibits to answer questions uh, when new users come around. So keep that in mind also. Uh, it's meant to be an interactive place. So really hoping that you all go and take a look. Real quick on that, uh, the only requirements that we have uh, for the exhibits is that the community that the exhibit is linked to uh, be uh, new user friendly, as in don't have any restrictions uh, to go in uh, um, to your region. Um, that restricts, you know, brand new users and such, uh, and that you basically will have a way for them to come back uh, to the welcome hub uh, and just basically that you're ready to take on uh, the representation, which everybody uh, pretty much does that anyway, but just wanted to kind of mention it. Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that sentence because I wouldn't want you to go through all of the uh, process of applying whether or if it didn't actually work. What do you mean, AI bunny? Bunny is out for our jobs. Linden strike. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, Lyria, I uh, wanted to follow up on the um, the feedback that you sent. So. Looks like this was a uh, feature request to upgrade the homesteads, and increase the prims. Um, so this is routed to our review team. Um, so we wouldn't have any uh, information to share, but uh, there's quite a few other residents that are uh, supportive of this idea. And uh, I, I love that part about the uh, feedback, secondlife.com is the ability to see others who are just as encouraged to see this happen. So um, we don't have any information to share of whether this could happen, but um, it'll definitely be sent to the uh, review team. I could not say. That I would not know, Keith. I would presume it'll come up, but again, no idea.
trying to get my mic going. Um, so as far as I know, that's going to be the topic for um, that first roundtable. I do not know if there's going to be other topics covered. I guess it depends on how long they schedule it for. I haven't seen how long um, that meeting is scheduled to run. And, uh, you know, if they have time to discuss other topics, they might. Um, but again, I'm not sure, you know, how much of that is going to be informational and then how much time they're leaving for Q&A. Um, but that, that is definitely going to be one of the topics that's discussed there. I just don't know if that's the only topic. Thanks, Kira. Thanks, Kira. So our last topic of the day involves the new release of last names. I'll go ahead and paste what you can get right now. Minus the hidden ESCII character that just popped in there. So these are all resident suggested names. Congratulations. And if you haven't suggested a name yet, you need to, because you can do it right here. And we have a massive list of names, <laughs> but send them in, because they definitely happen. Not all of them, can't promise all of them, but you can see we definitely uh, take in consideration the names, and put out what we think is uh, is awesome and cool. Yeah, we do actually look at that list um, quite frequently, and you'd be surprised at the number of duplicates that are on it. So I wish we had a way to, or actually had the time to go through and dedupe some of those. Um, but typically, if it's like an event um, or a holiday or something, we, we use names that kind of go with that event or holiday. Um, and then when we're throwing in some newer last names, we'll go back to the, the suggestion sheets. Um, and we also have one a su suggestion sheet internally that we go through as well. So lots of lots of names going through, and we kind of tag them as you know. Oh, we should use this for next time it comes around to be winter, and things like that. Um, and as far as how long they're current, uh, it depends. <laughs> depends on how popular they get. Um, we've typically left them up for quite a while. Um, but I can't, I can't guarantee that something's going to be there when you're ready to go for it. So, yeah, all supplies last, I guess. <laughs> like a last call, disappearing soon, get them all you can kind of thing. We could do that. That would I be pretty handy. About, yeah, I think we had talked about doing that internally at one point. Numerical last names? No. Also a good idea not to, to wait on the last name because you might not get the first name you want. We have about 20 minutes left. The floor is open for any questions. Any funny stories in world? And share with us share with us what you're doing in world right now. Any new projects you might have or things you're involved with or cool things you've seen. If we put like 
high school level peer pressure on Izzy, man, we get all the goods. I know it. It'll just be between us, too. <laughs> Not really, Catherine. Um, you know, people, it may look empty. It may be ones that people have in there. Um, it's really hard to say. Really wouldn't want to, you know, rip out holes into uh, any parts of Belisaria or other parts of the mainland or, or Lindholm regions. I know chat GPT can actually do all that send. That's pretty crazy. Chat GPT, build me a cathedral. What happened? You're going to pull items from your inventory and kind of like reference like other cathedrals and make the best thing you possibly could off that? Yes, but can it tell a parrot to give it a kiss? <laughs> That's the real test around here. I had a pet parrot, but it kept pining for the fjords, so it didn't quite work out. I do have one thing to mention that uh, is no longer a secretive as of, well, actually the first part of it got released in December. Uh, have any of you been keeping up with the uh, blog post on Second Life Community about the Combat 2.0 system? I have, but I don't count. <laughs> you, de you definitely count. Well, I, there, I got basically a sneak peek uh, at it that really wasn't a lot more than what's already in here, uh, but the open-ended nature of it with all of the options of what you can do and also how you can add your own uh, rules into it is just wonderful. I mean, it reminded me of my D&D &D days and being able to do a lot more uh, within Second Life. So I'm just going to copy again. This is an old link, but for some of you that may be interested that haven't seen it so far, uh, I, it's really exciting to me. I would add to that that there is also a combat-related uh, user group as well for giving straight-on feedback about it. Absolutely, and Ryder just loves interacting and uh, building on what he's already started. For those who might not know, this is a uh, list of all the user groups, so there's a lot of other um, discussions. Most of them are a lot more technical than ours, but uh, I'd recommend checking those out as well. Any other questions, comments, things you're going to bring up? Please feel free.
I think that too is one of the benefits of seeing the uh, the new system uh, that's being worked on is that uh, the combat system hasn't really been updated uh, to a great extent since those days, since the days of the the, the Outlands and the Jesse Wall. So it'd be really nice to see um, that be revitalized and revamped and turned into something for for today rather than being back then. Through some of the replies on um, writer suggestions for the new combat, and it's been very strong, very supportive. We have about, uh, oh, 10 minutes left. Um, anything else uh, you want to discuss? Uh, other changes you're excited about, things you might like? Um, feel free to let's talk about it. Have a good one, Lyria. That's actually a really good idea, Send. I always look at Second Life as the ultimate sandbox. And even in Writer's Post, he starts it with, you know, um, I'm sure some of you can make a better uh, combat system than I can. But my job here is to give you the tools to do it. So if we're not going to make it, we should be given tools. And I think, you yeah, know, we definitely do that. Whether or not that would happen, I'm not sure. But I would definitely put that up in uh, feedback.secondlife.com.
one metaverse to rule them all send? Oh, that joke would never get old. <laughs> Not as long as we keep telling it, Mix. Take care, Izzy. Okay, any last uh, comments before we adjourn today? Izzy. Indeed, Bunny. I'd say that uh, the avatars around here are probably some of the more complex you'll find out there, and frankly, some of the more beautiful. Say Philip Linden took Second Life and ran with it. I'll see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I certainly wish everyone a lovely day. We will see you uh, next month. And uh, certainly we'll see you in support channels. So, And if not sooner, take care all. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>